I believe that uh, in youth football coaching, it is all about having fun, to not turn off the, the child at a young age. Give to the kids that love, that passion for playing the game. You know, they have to be out there and saying that they're enjoying what they're doing. You know, do not place emphasis on what the scoreboard's telling them. Develop a foundation where that young man can have fun. He's put in a situation where he can have fun, he can be successful, and through that having fun and, and that success, he begins to learn about some core values and being part of a team that, that he probably would not get on his own. I think the first thing that you've got to start with is number one, remember it's just a game. I'm a former Pop Warner coach. I coached at the Pop Warner level for seven years uh, before I sought out my first high school job. And one of the things that I see is guys get caught up in winning as opposed to, I always measure myself is when we got the kid in, how well he played, and then when he left us at the end of the year, how well did he progress. Don't try and coach like it's uh, Green Bay Packers. Just try and treat them as young kids and let them enjoy the game so that eventually they want to stay with it. I think a lot of youth coaches revert back to, this is what I did when I was an All-American. This is what I did when my coach was, you know, Mr. the King on top of the hill. Well, that was back then. You're, you're, the, the kids are different. Everything evolves. The schemes are different. Nobody really cares what your record is as a Little League coach. You see the fruits of your labor when that kid is playing high school or even college ball. Practice fundamentals all the time. Teaching the kids at a young age how to block and how to tackle. If they do not know the fundamentals, it can't be a fun game for them. And they can protect themselves a lot from injury, they can protect themselves from the discomfort of the game if they execute the correct fundamentals. If you don't do it properly, that you could you could potentially ruin the kids and run them away from football. And uh, we obviously don't want that. It's the greatest game in the world, so.